Hello everyone. Now this video will teach you how to use the latest function from the DFL DDP data recovery software for the Western Digital SMR hard drives. Now we can see here is the Western Digital Common Firmware Fix Solutions. Now we, here as the menus we can see uh, it's a long list actually. So let's check this one. Uh, we don't need to power on the pension drive, but we can use these common solutions. Now let's click it, the repair module 190. And here we have the intelligent mode or expert mode. And for uh, common cases, we usually use this default mode, intelligent mode. Click OK. Now we select some corrupted module uh, 190 here. This one is corrupted from the PCB Western Digital SMR 181003. Uh, okay, now we select this one. We can see analysis failed. And this means uh, this module 190 has missing some uh, key loads inside. So we can click OK. Here is one auto uh, repair solution. And we can use the default settings and click OK to scan the missing nodes. OK. So this, this one is the scanned loads found from the corrupted module 190. Now we can see uh, by click by start LBA to sort all the loads. Now we need to wait a little bit to see the found nodes by the scanning. Now we can see the overlapped node count. So we need to repair this one. This number needs to be zero. Okay. Right click, we can use auto repair. The program is repair this missing or corrupted nodes within this mode 190 automatically. So we need to wait a little bit. Now the program repairs all the loads automatically. Now we can see we get one repaired T2 data BIN this file automatically. Now we can use, uh, we can rename this one. For example, T2 data new. This one is very important. It contains all the most important nodes from the module 190. Or we can call this one as the most important part of the module 190. We can use this file to set up the head map. Or we can note this file to the RAM to get the data recognized correctly. For the all sectors zero cases, we can also load the T2 data to the RAM. Okay, click save. Now we get the T2 data, then we can click this menu within the DFL DDP data recovery software. For all sectors zero cases, we can load the T2 data automatically. And here we can select this one. OK, this is a parse. We select where store the repaired T2 data. We select this one and click load. After we note this T2 data file successfully, then we can go to the hex view to get ID information and then the all sector zero will be fixed. 
and users can see the hexed data normally. So this one is very important. Users can use this intelligent mode to repair the damaged module 190 automatically and then use the function edit head map to note these T2 data automatically. So this is how we use the latest software from Dolphin Data Lab to fix the latest Western Digital SMR hard drives. This one is very powerful.